Many children and young people only participate in sport and physical activity at school, and this may be more prevalent within a special school. Stop! All children should have opportunities for sport and recreation and physical education. And in that, our young people with special educational needs, they are no different from any other children, and in many ways, need even more opportunities in school and outside. Over there, we're just going to be throwing this to each other, getting ready to... There is a common perception that tennis can only be played by a small number of able athletes on a tennis court. Oh, great. In fact, tennis can be delivered within school halls, sports halls and playgrounds. All you need to do is adapt the activities where necessary to meet the needs and abilities of the young people and use modified equipment where possible. Tennis is one of our favourite activities. There's so, so much you can do. You can include lots of people. You don't, need just, you don't need a tennis court. And it's a lot of fun. And you can have all different levels going on in the same lesson. Some of our most profoundly disabled students um, can develop the same skills using adapted equipment. For the first time, we have developed a dedicated resource for special schools to assist teachers to deliver tennis to an audience with additional learning or physical needs. The resource includes guidance on adapting the activities using a range of activity cards. They provide the key learning objectives and suggest ways of making the activities easier or more challenging. The resource also includes certificates and stickers to reward the participants for their achievements. Yeah, lovely. By implementing the guidance on adapting the activities, we're confident that you and your pupils will have hours of fun playing tennis. Six, so how can tennis be adapted to meet the needs of such a wide range of abilities? Who can get that balance? Albert has that balance, Chloe, are you there? Hold it there! And go again, good. Woo. The main differences I faced when moving from a mainstream school to a special school was taking into account all the children's different needs and allowing more processing time for the instructions I was giving, making sure that they were simple and clear, break things down and lots of demonstrations before they go on with the activity. Well, I think you've got to be really flexible and I think a lot of people think if you're doing tennis you've got to go in and have a game of tennis and I must say some tennis sessions I do we might never use a net, we might not even get around to using a racket. As well as the information within this dedicated resource, you can also access a wider range of teacher support material which includes information on teacher training, guidance on establishing out-of-school hours clubs, a variety of formats to assist you in running competition and cross-curricular themed activities. We want young people to have skills, we want them to excel in their talents, we want them to feel good about themselves, physically good about themselves. That whole sense of achievement, that whole sense of purpose, if we can instill this into young people with special educational needs, it will impact on the rest of their education. Up rather than down. No, no, that's it. <laughs> For more information or to find a place to play that runs inclusive or integrated activity, log on to schoolstennis.org.